Hey guys, welcome to our video. In our previous video, we talked about how the turbojet engines came into existence and also on how they work. The turbojet engines created a revolution in air travel. They allowed aircrafts to fly at higher altitudes. This means less drag was experienced by these aircrafts. So more speed and better fuel efficiency than conventional piston powered aircrafts. But these engines were not very efficient at low speeds and a lot of energy was being wasted. So as to prevent this loss, a huge fan is connected to the turbine shaft of the engine as a way to utilize this energy. The motive behind this is very simple. We can get the same thrust by accelerating a small mass of air to higher speeds as done in jet engines or accelerate a large mass of air to a slower speed as done in a turbofan engine. They can both produce the same thrust but the only difference there is that it is more efficient to accelerate a larger mass of air to slower speeds. Think of it in this way. Momentum is mass times velocity and kinetic energy is half times mass times velocity times velocity, right? So kinetic energy is half times momentum times velocity. For the same momentum, your energy goes up in proportion to velocity. So in a jet engine, for the same momentum, you are wasting more energy by accelerating the small masses of air to high velocity. The working of the turbofan engine is very similar to the turbojet engine. The incoming air is captured by the engine inlet. Some of the incoming air passes through the fan and continues on into the core compressor where it is compressed to very high ratios. This compressed air flows into the combustion chamber where it is mixed with fuel and ignited. On ignition, the fuel-air mixture releases a lot of hot gases at high velocity. These hot gases are used to rotate turbines and exit out of the nozzle. The rest of the incoming air passes through the fan and bypasses or goes around the engine just like a propeller. So a turbofan gets some of its thrust from the core and some of its thrust from the fan. The ratio of the air that goes around the engine to the air that goes through the core is called the bypass ratio. Turbofan engines are classified into two major categories based on this bypass ratio. They are low bypass turbofans and high bypass turbofans. The low bypass turbofans are obsolete in the commercial airline market due to their higher fuel consumption and lower thrust value. Majority of the commercial aircrafts use a high bypass turbofan engine as they are extremely fuel efficient and produce much lower noise with increased thrust. The largest turbofan engine in usage right now is the General Electric 9X. These engines are used in the Boeing 777X variant. This engine is 13 feet in diameter, much larger in diameter than a Boeing 737. This engine is capable of producing 100,000 pounds of thrust and also comes with a price tag of 41.4 million US dollars. An added advantage of the turbofan engine is that it is capable of producing reverse thrust. This is used to increase the deceleration of the aircraft on landing. This is done by redirecting the bypass air of the engine in the forward direction in the following manner. Well, that's it guys. Hope you have understood the working of a turbofan engine. We will meet you guys again in the next video. Bye.